Welcome back everybody. <clears throat> Today is um, our five on the dime challenge and this month Nikki Ad Adigan um, is the one that chose our items. So Nikki chose our five items were ribbon, bead, cardstock, coffee filter or a tea bag, and a bag. So this is what I came up with, guys. <clears throat> I went back to my paper bag journals. And let me just go ahead and show you all of the components here. There's um, the bag, obviously. The bead. The cardstock is um, inside. I've done some tags out of that. And there's a bit of ribbon. And then inside, I will show you the coffee filter. Um, I shared these coffee filters a while back. <clears throat> I purchased these. Really wasn't sure how to use them. So let me just show you really quickly. It's these. And when Nikki told us our items, I thought, well... Uh, I usually go to the tea bag, but I thought, oh, I need to make use of these. So what I ended up doing, it's so easy. I just folded that up and then kind of in the center, you know, I just creased it so I'd know where the center is. And I just ran a stitch down it. And what that does is that gives you, when you, um, then I glued it here on three sides, obviously. What that does, that gives you a pocket here, that pocket, and that pocket. So you'll end up with three pockets, which I did on these little journals. So I thought that was a, a <clears throat> something a little bit different. I don't know if anybody else has done that. I don't. If they have, I hadn't seen it because I had asked previously if anybody could recommend some tutorials on how to use these coffee filters and nobody responded so I don't know if anybody's done that before or not but just something a little bit different um, so yeah that is what I created for this challenge um, I think what I'll do is um, I'll come back maybe and um, and do a little tutorial on these. They're super easy to do. Um, in fact, I tell you what, let me just grab a bag real quick and I can show you because it really d doesn't, you don't need a tutorial for this in all fairness. And then I'll go through all these journals really quickly and, sh and show you what I, what I did. So this is the giant size lunch bags that you get at <clears throat> Walmart. And <laughs> I didn't even know that they made giant size, but I told you I asked my son to bring me some, and this is what he showed up with, so that was different. <laughs> um, so you, ju you just take the base of it, you know, this part of it, and I just creased that down and folded this back over. And with your bone folder, just get a nice little um, crease there. And then I went ahead and on the outside, because I knew that would be my inside, I just went ahead and put um, some papers on it and then came back and stitched around it <clears throat> like you see here. And just you could do some, you know, little zigzags or whatever, and that will hold that together. Some people like to leave them open for a pocket, but I don't like it. It's a bit too flimsy for me, so I just tend to sew those down. So that's how I made it. And let me just show you really quickly. So on the front, I've got a Tim Holtz um, little metal plate. And then this is some of that handmade uh, paper that I've got, but it's super thick. It must be about a 300 GSM, maybe. And I inked that, came back and stitched around it, and then just layered it up. Um, and then this is what it looks like on the back. And then inside... I've got a couple of tags that coordinated with um, the papers. And like I said, this ends up, you end up getting three pockets here. And then I just stamped 
some little um, journal cards, and then I've stamped on some muslin so that says bloom, and then <clears throat> here I've got a little tag and another journal card that that's been tucked in there, and then I love that stamp. Um, so that's how that looks, and then over here, um, let's see, it's about one, two, three, four, five, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Looks like about tw uh, forty-eight pages, believe it or not, in the, in that little journal. But I just did a little cutout there, and this is some card. Um, it's kind of a lightweight cardstock craft cardstock and then I've just kept it very plain because you know I just thought it was just just a little mini journal and then this is some old ledger paper I've included and um, the, the papers have been coffee dyed so they're a little bit richer color and then here this is old piano paper and I've just made a little pocket so you've got that and then everything in here is just um, you know if it's not coffee dyed papers, it's all vintage book pages, so all in keeping with kind of like the little rustic um, look to it. And then I left the strings, you know, from the stitching. So that's that. That's the back of the journal. So I just thought these were a fun little project. Um, and as I said, it's got all of the elements in our um, our challenge this month. So thank you so much, Nikki, for choosing those. Um, it was uh, the push I needed to try to do something with those coffee filters, and I, I think it's a, a sweet little pocket to incorporate. So, And the beads are glass. Um, so that's Inspire. And they're all the same. It's just the, um, the little thing here is different, and that's Artful. But inside are, are all identical. I've got the same tags and same journal cards. And then this is Journey. So I've got Inspire, Artful, and Journey. And if you're interested in those, those are going to be in my shop. But do check out all of the other ladies in this challenge. Um, because they have got some beautiful projects. They always surprise me each month with what they do. And everybody's are so different. So just taking those five items... Um, just see how different everybody's projects have come out and join us. Um, you can uh, participate by either sharing on here your channel within the description box or on Instagram just using the hashtag 5 on the dime challenge. Um, and we will uh, certainly have a look at those things and um, you know we'd love for everybody to play along with us. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, this month's challenge and the little project and I hope you'll check out um, Angela Martina and um, Nikki's channel. I'll put the, their channels uh, below in the description box and I will see you guys back here next month with another challenge. Take care. Bye!